Charlotte and the Quiet Place. Charlotte's house is noisy. In the hallway, the floorboards groan. In the living room, the TV bellows and blares. In the kitchen, her dog Otto yips, yaps, and yowls. Even in her bedroom, which is supposed to be a quiet place, the old steam radiator hisses, whistles, and whines. Charlotte's school is noisy. In the classroom, the bell clangs. In the lunchroom, the trays clatter and crash. On the playground, the swings creak, squeak, and rattle. Even in the library, which is supposed to be a quiet place, the children giggle, yammer, and yell. Where can Charlotte find a quiet place? Charlotte's neighborhood is very, very noisy. On the sidewalk, the jackhammers blast. On the street, the sirens warble and wail. Underground, the subway screeches, rumbles, and roars. Even in the park, which is supposed to be a quiet place, the leaf blower buzzes, blusters, and hums. No, cries Charlotte, I have to find a quiet place. Do you ever feel like Charlotte? Sometimes I do. One Saturday morning, Charlotte takes Otto for a walk. In the park, Otto spots a squirrel and he lurches free. Charlotte chases Otto, charging, charging down the hill, over the bridge and into a grove where Otto skids to a stop. Charlotte and Otto are out of breath. <sighs> Together they sit down to rest. They close their eyes. Charlotte's belly rises up and down, up and down. Her breath goes in and out, in and out. <sighs> it is quiet at last. Her mind slows down. It is so, so quiet, Charlotte notices an even quieter place. A place deep in her belly where her breath is soft and even. A place deep in her mind where the thoughts are hushed and low. A place as quiet as the small silence on the very last page of her favorite book. The silence right after the end. When Charlotte is ready, she and Otto hike slowly away from the grove, back over the bridge and up the hill toward home. Nowadays, Charlotte's house is still noisy. Her school is still noisy. And her neighborhood is still very, very noisy. But Charlotte remembers that day in the park. So wherever she is, Whenever she wants, when her world is too noisy, Charlotte simply closes her eyes and travels back to that peaceful place, that place deep in her belly where her breath is soft and even, the place deep in her mind where her thoughts are hushed and low, the quiet place inside. So just like Charlotte, all of us have a quiet place inside when we need it. And when you need it, you can try it out too. See you next time.